Hi, today I'm going to show you how I can get better skin tones in Lightroom and you don't even have to have upgraded to the newest version yet. So, let's go! So these days you see a lot of videos on YouTube showing you how you can get better skin tones by using masking and the U slider, which is a new feature in Lightroom. But actually, this was even possible before the U sliders. Even though the U sliders are more powerful, you could still do this in older versions of Lightroom. And I'm gonna show you how you can do this now. So basically, what you do is use the brush mask tool and masking out the face. You don't have to be that accurate because we will use the range mask tool and pick color and then click on the face. And this way, it will pick a useful mask. If you press O on the keyboard, it will show the mask. And if you press O again, it will deselect the mask. If you press H on the keyboard, it will hide the mask and the little dot indicator. Sometimes this gets in the way, so this is a useful trick too. So I'm going to tweak the mask now by playing with the sliders for the color temperature, the saturation and the exposure. It's really just a matter of getting to a place where you're happy. I will check before, without the preset and the edit, and with the preset and the mask. And try to get to a point where I think this looks natural. So I'm going to do the same on the hands because I think they are too orange as well. So I will paint around the hands and use the range mask color pick again. By the way, the reason I'm not using the same mask on the hands and face is for the possibility to adjust the hands and face separately, because they might not need the same adjustment. So the changes might not be that big, but still they make a huge difference if you ask me. Going from orange skin tones to more natural skin. So I have this picture of a woman sitting and eating in the street. And I'm sorry if you ever see this picture, but it would still make a good example here. So I'm just doing the exactly the same as before. Masking out the face and using the range mask at the color pick to make the mask more perfect. And then I am adjusting the sliders, the color temperature of course, and some of the other sliders as well. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the hands. And I think you can see that we're going from this orangey look to a more, to a more natural color. And you can see when I choose the range mask on her hands, I get a little bit of the paper from the sandwich, but I can just remove that by pressing and holding Alt and painting away the mask on the sandwich and get a better mask that way. So for one final example, I got a picture of my wife and our youngest son standing in front of this castle in Hillewell, Denmark. And I already used the range uh, tool and picked the mask around her face. And I'm going to adjust the color of her face because she is as well a bit too orange when I'm using this uh, preset. 
So I usually always go to the collage image first because that is where you will get the basic correction. But you can't go too low because or else your subject will look sick. But if you go too high, it will look too orangey as now. But when you take out the color, you usually need to bump the exposure a little bit. And I think right about here looks natural. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful if you haven't upgraded to the newest version. If you have upgraded to the newest version, this still uh, imply and you can use this, but you have the use sliders and it will make it even easier for you to get the right uh, color for the skin. But that's all for me for now and I will see you next time. Bye.